Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews. We have a really big deal for me. It's the Armourauders Bellerophon. This is the retail edition. Reviewed a test shot, went over the unboxing of this guy, now we actually get, it, get to get into the nitty gritty. So we have Bellerophon here. Comes with a stand. He comes with two blasters. Um, this is Cam, the pilot. His backpack, his stand, a couple of blade type weapons. This one's disassembled, we'll show you why in a bit as well as an alternate dome piece for Bellerophon himself. So, we'll move Bellerophon over here. As well as his weapons, we'll clear out some of this stuff and we'll focus on Cam. Alright, so, get this straightened out here. Pilot size. Cam is just under 2 inches tall. So small, but not insanely small. Check out the posability on this guy. So he has a ball jointed head, full rotation in the shoulders here. Okay. Swivel, elbow bend, wrist swivel, and pegs on the wrist for his weapons. All right. He bends at the mid torso, like right below his rib cage, but it's still I would call it waist swivel, in a sense. Not full waist. Now he does have full thigh rotation. Check this out. Thigh swivel. And knee bend. Only thing he's missing from the standard, let's say, deluxe figure or so, is just maybe articulation of the feet. All of those don't have it, so he's just as posable as anything you'd buy that's six inches at a retail store, so definitely not bad. Now we have his backpack here as well. To put this on, you have to remove his head, just pop that off the ball joint. That's scary. Honestly, I hope that that's the last time I have to do that. The ball joint is pretty small. I don't see any signs of stress or anything like that, but just on a personal level, it's it's a bit much just feeling that neck kind of stretch while you're doing it so I'm gonna take this off camera for a second so I can see myself actually push the head back on not hard the arm came unpegged just pegs in there but now we've got him with his backpack on All right. so that's how it looks with the backpack let me make sure my camera's focused there Show you what the back of it looks like here. Now these pieces on the back here, they do rotate around. Come over the shoulder blasters, like so. And unfortunately this is a small figure, so I really don't have a choice but to cover them up with my hands. It's about as big as my thumbs. Alright, so that's how he looks with the blasters up. You can remove the blasters and actually use them as handheld blasters as well. So, really small pegs. Easy, but for me, my blind butt has to bring them up to my face. So, that's where it gets kind of not fun. But if I knew how to rotate it, that'd be even better, but... There we go. I have it on the wrong hand. That's basically it. So that looks. Now, he is bag heavy, but we'll go ahead and use the stand. Stand doesn't come apart super easy, but taking a look at it, it does say it has armor riders etched into it. Pretty cool. But points of articulation right here, front and back, front and back. Oops. Jeez, I'm so ham handing right now. And it's pretty thick plastic too, so you don't worry about it breaking. But this goes up and down, and he has those claws similar to Tamashi stands. And something like that. Not gonna get too crazy with it.
there you go. There he is on the stand. Now, have a little bit of fun. We will get him inserted into the Bellerophon. Now this one's considered Cam's custom. The Bellerophon is a model of Mecha in the Armor Otters comic. Now I'm going to include a link to armorotters.com so that you can go ahead and check it out. The live comics especially are really, really well done. So I dig them. Alright, get that focused. Alright, now the way this works, gotta get cam all configured. This pulls out, that pulls up. The switch goes out, and While I'm sitting here, I tried to, I unpeg the gun from his hand, and instead of putting it back into the backpack, put it back into his hand. That's just really odd stuff. It's time for me to go to bed after I finish this review. Alright, so we've got Cam here. I'm supposed to keep the backpack on him. There's a peg here as well as two pegs for his hands. So you're supposed to turn his arms sideways and get him pegged in. That's pretty meticulous. He sits just fine in there without lining it up. So I'm going to cheat a bit because I don't want to take this off camera and do it. And just get him in there. Alright, so I did end up going ahead and putting him in directly. Normally you can just kind of toss him in there and it'll close regardless, this and that. I didn't want to scratch up the head or anything, but he kept hitting it. So I lined up everything directly. He's got two pieces here for his hands to actually hold. It's really hard to see. Shine my lights on it. And his backpack packs into the bag too. From there, you just go ahead and close. And get that all pressed back. Alright. Now, before we get into Bellerophon himself, since he's on the stand, I'm going to go ahead and go over the stand. The stand is pretty cool, really adjustable. So he's got holsters here for his guns. The stand itself also adjusts in a couple of ways. So with this piece here, this lets you adjust it up and down. You just pull that guy out and it locks into place. You can also adjust this. If you have a, those like 1 100th Gundam stands and stuff like that, you know exactly what's going on. This piece, it has ratchets on the side. They don't ratchet, they don't turn. You just place it in how you want it. But it clips into a stain area there. And it's good that it doesn't ratchet actually because it holds it in place. There's no stripping or anything like that that's going to happen. So, there's that part. And there's the stand. Detailing on the stand comes with two platform pieces which are adjustable. Up and down, we're just going to keep them down. The platform comes in and out. You can go ahead and rotate these around and connect them as well while I'm breaking off the guard reels. Pretty cool stuff and you'll see a lot more pictures of that on kumastyle.com, the pictorial review. Alright, and while we get started looking at Bellerophon himself, I want to go over the size here. He is... It's hard to judge head to toe because he has those turrets and things like that. But I'm counting them at just under 9 inches. Right. And just so you can see how he scales maybe to your super robots and things like this. This one isn't really going to go along with like a lot of Transformers collections and this and that. So that's why I chose some Soul of Jigokin to stand it next to. 
little bit of God Mars action in there for you. Yeah. So taking a look at him, just front and back. One thing I like about him, there are a lot of moving pieces on this guy. See the ball joints and the thrusters themselves. So just a ton of moving pieces. There we go. And even his shoulders. as well as his collarbone area here. Missile pod type deals. So cool Easter eggs. And another thing that's really neat about him, he has a lot of interchangeable pieces. So I don't know if this is gonna go with further customization down the road or anything like that, but taking a look here, things like his ammo clips here clip off even his knees for whatever reason clip on and off they're all the same kind of clip there I left one of the clips on the blade weapons here so you can see how that looks clipped on all right, so you got that there and I'll be hard-pressed yep it happens every time it clips in so tight and there's nothing wrong with that that piece comes off fairly easy but that literally just flew across the room while this guy starts to fall over. All right, so you can see how that works. It's a slide piece that I apparently haven't mastered yet. But I guess she could remove it just by unclipping the front part. Or, if I can do this right, just clip it back on. There we go. But it sides itself to lock into place. Then you just unslide it, push it out. Now he's got displayed weapons here clip his ammo pack back on and so you can see how these look in hand does have those opposable fingers there and they really had fun shooting with the weapons and things like that I like that it's three bladed Get some throwing action in there too. That's how that looks. His blasters on the other hand, he comes with two of them. They do have some pieces that come off, like the ammo clip there. It is interchangeable with those. I thought the front of it came off for whatever reason, but I believe it does. Nope, that must have just been a problem with the test shot. Actually, it comes off right there. There we go. So I don't know if that's going to be further customization later or anything like that, but that's pretty cool. I like that he has these individually posable fingers because you can give him an actual trigger finger there. On his rifle. holding his weapons. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Also, we'll go ahead and go over that alternate dome piece. Here. Slide that one off. Peg this one in.
So you can see how that looks. And this does have die cast pieces like in the feet here as well. Overall, the build quality on these things are just incredible. I did have to go ahead and pop the shoulder out of the ball joint there to give it some polish. But outside of that, it's been good. And personally, I just don't like the look of the clear part or else I wouldn't mind keeping it on. Now, oddly enough, we're going to do this last, but we'll go over the posability here. Ball jointed head, good upward, downward movement, a little bit of play in the neck there to move that in and out. The shoulders are all kinds of crazy. So there's initially a ball joint right in there, but then there's a whole nother shoulder area itself. These missile pods move, these shoulder, let's call them pads, they move up and down, ball jointed, come in and out, things like that. It's all on this like circular track. But the shoulders themselves, ratchet click, really tight. Ugh, everything's really tight. Bicep swivel. So you saw that. Double jointed elbows. The wrist on ball joints, but it also has a forward and back. The fingers are cool. Super articulated hands, not my thing, but especially like third party transformers and stuff like that. You see them be released all the time. Ever since the 1100 Gundam started releasing those type of mandibles or whatever, people are going crazy for them. So, see there? See all the points of articulation on the fingers? Started a ball joint and then there are one, two knuckles in between them. All right. Then the thumb is really cool. It has this in and out piece. The thumb itself on a ball joint and then it has the thumb knuckle. So really, really realistic. Like, it's well done. Moving on with the articulation here, you see the waist swivel. He does have ab crunch. Full rotation in the thighs there. Clip that piece back in. Double jointed knees, which is great. Fantastic ankle tilt. So you've got ball joints, well, it's back and forth, it's a swing, and then back and forth. So it's full rotation, but then at the ankle, it actually tilts. And then the feet do go up, so those running poses and things like that. Rather than the Iron Man pose, speaking of which, let's go ahead and just take them for a run instead. So it's hard because this... This is a surface that I use for shooting. It's reflective and pretty slippery. And even though he has good die cast feet, slippery surfaces don't really treat him well. Bring that in. That in. There we go. That's the Armor Otters Blue Refine. This is the retail edition. This is the Cam's custom version. This has been another Kuma style review. Where to buy? Uh, Toysource.com. Go ahead and put the link in the description uh, to that as well. Let me know what you guys think. This has been a bit of a longer review, but this one comes with a lot of stuff. Thank you for taking the time to watch it. Check out the info button, kumastyle.com. Check out the pictorial and written review. Let me know what you think of that as well, and I'll see you guys.